Well, hey, everybody, Pastor Steve with you. It's uh, Tuesday, and we're in the book of Ephesians, wrapping this uh, book up in our New Testament reading plan, chapter 6. And by the way, today is my wife's birthday. So, hey, sweetie, love you. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. And uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, um, the latter part of the chapter is where I want to focus in my comments when he talks about standing firm against satanic attacks and, uh, you know, the influence of evil and darkness. And he tells us what we need to do in order to stand firm against Satan's attacks and the influence of evil. And he talks about putting on the full armor of God, modeling it after a Roman soldier's uniform. And um, if you'll look in your Bible at verse 14, he says, Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth. That if, if you and I are going to stand against the wiles of the devil and against the influence of evil in our culture, then we have to, we have to be committed to, we have to have a sincere commitment to the truth of God, to the truth of God's Word. We have to be authentic in our belief in and commitment to the truth of Jesus Christ. You're never going to stand firm against Satan and his influences if you're not authentic and if you're not convinced of the truth of the things of God. So you have to put on, gird your loins. And, and the girding is the belt. It was a belt that held the entire uniform together. And so authenticity genuineness and true belief in the things of God and who God is in his word is the belt that holds everything else together. Because if you're not authentic, it's going to fall apart. And if you really don't believe the things of God, you really don't believe the word of God, it's all going to fall apart. So to stand firm, you have to be committed with authenticity to the truth. He continues in verse 14 by saying, and put on the breastplate of righteousness, the part that would protect the soldier's heart in battle. Righteousness. Right living, being right with God and then right living because you are right with God because sin in your life will destroy your heart. Immorality and sin will weaken you and defeat you and kill you spiritually. So we have to protect our, our vital organs by not only being right with God, being righteous in Jesus, but by living righteously as well. So holiness and purity. Then verse 15, having, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The soldier would have those shoes that were sturdy that would enable him to, to walk, to run, and to be, be stable in battle. And it's interesting that for us, the shoes is the gospel of Jesus. It's not only having the gospel in our own lives, but it's sharing the gospel. It's evangelism. If you're not willing to talk about Jesus, to share the love of Christ, to take the gospel to the lost, then if you're not willing to, that, that's how you go. You have to go. You have to move forward. You have to advance because if you're not advancing, you're eventually going to fall backward. And so advancing against the kingdom of darkness, how do we do that? With the gospel. And here's the thing. So the people who are willing to talk about Jesus and share the gospel end up being spiritually stronger than those who are ashamed of the gospel and ashamed to talk about Jesus. So if you want to be firm and strong, talk about Jesus Christ and share the gospel. Then in verse 16, he says, in addition to all of that, taking up the shield of faith, the shield that would protect, the soldier would use to protect himself from the swords and the spears of his, of his enemy. And the thing that protects us from satanic attacks, he says, is faith. Believing no matter what, believing no matter what, quenches doubts that Satan might try to foster in our mind. Belief, faith. Believing God, no matter what. Do not base your belief in God. Do not base your confidence in the love and the protection and the help of God on circumstances. Base it on who God is in Jesus Christ. And then um, he, he talks about uh, uh, in verse, uh, verse 17, the helmet of salvation, something that protects your head. So you have, to really, you have to really be saved and have the hope and the assurance and the confidence that you are saved and that you're going to heaven because you're going to struggle unless you know that you're saved. And God wants you to know that you are saved. And then he says in verse 17, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword, what the soldier would use to fight the enemy with. And the sword for us is the word of God. Now it's interesting. We usually think of the word, the Bible and reading it and studying it and, and, and devotions and writing in our journals is about my own spiritual development. And it is, it does that. But it's also what I use to fight Satan. 
Because when I know the Word of God, I'm able to fight Satan. When I stay in the Word of God on a daily basis, I am stronger than ever and better able to resist anything he throws at me. I have a sword. I have a weapon I can use in fighting him. But if I don't read the Word of God, I don't have the weapon. I don't have a weapon to to defeat him with, to whip him with. That's why I'm so thankful for our D groups at First Baptist. I'm so thankful for our New Testament reading plan that I still believe was, was, was an amazing gift of God because when we committed ourselves in January to reading the New Testament through using this plan and writing in our journals and all that, God knew COVID-19 was coming and sheltering in place was coming. And God got our church. He got us ready so that we could continue to grow and be strong and fight Satan because we had a plan for being in the word of God in a systematic, productive manner. So let me wrap it up by saying this. A Roman soldier had to be intentional about putting on every part of his uniform if he was going to be ready for battle. As a soldier of Jesus Christ, you and I have to be intentional about putting on each part of our uniform if we're going to win the battle that we fight. And it's a spiritual battle. He says that in here, that our battle is not with flesh and blood, but it's with principalities and so on. It's a spiritual battle. We are not ready to fight that battle if we are not intentional about putting on each part of our uniform. Sincerity and commitment to the truth of Jesus Christ. Righteousness in Jesus, being right with God, and right living, holy living. Going forward with the gospel, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, evangelism. Faith, believing God no matter what, even when the circumstances are hard and the, and the battle is tough, continuing to believe God no matter what. Salvation, having our hope and confidence that I'm right with God, I'm going to heaven, and I'm saved, and nothing's going to shake that confidence. God's word. I'm in it every day getting stronger spiritually and swinging my sword at Satan and he's not going to win because I'm going to cut him to pieces with the word of God. And then in verses 18 and following talks about prayer. Prayer. So I hope you'll put on the uniform God has given you and be strong as you stand firm in Jesus Christ. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.